Welcome back to Space Weather News. Today, we have a special presentation that promises to take you on a captivating journey into the heart of a celestial wonder. How is the Aurora Borealis created? Northern Lights, a simple explanation invites you to an enlightening adventure as we unveil the secrets behind this mesmerizing phenomenon. In the frozen expanse of Earth's polar regions, a dazzling spectacle unfolds in the night sky. This is the Aurora Borealis, a natural wonder that has captivated humans for centuries. It's a phenomenon of breathtaking beauty, a celestial dance that has ignited our imaginations since time immemorial. But what exactly are we witnessing in this mesmerizing display? What cosmic forces are at play? In this documentary, we embark on a journey to understand the Aurora Borealis, to uncover the science behind this ethereal ballet. We'll take you to the ends of the Earth, where the frozen wilderness meets the cosmic stage, and where, in the depths of winter, the heavens put on a show like no other. Join us as we delve into the heart of this celestial wonder, deciphering its mysteries and revealing the incredible science that gives birth to this phenomenon. Chapter 1, The Location and Phenomenon The Aurora Borealis, or Northern Lights, can be seen near the Earth's polar regions during the winter months. Its ethereal glow and dancing lights have inspired countless myths and legends. But what exactly causes this celestial ballet? To understand, let's start with the location. The Aurora Borealis is a spectacle exclusive to Earth's polar regions, both in the north, near the Arctic Circle, and in the south. In these remote and frigid landscapes, where winter nights are long and the skies are often clear, lucky observers are treated to nature's most enchanting light show. The phenomenon itself is a ballet of light, a dance of colors that shimmer across the night sky. But why does this happen, and how? To uncover the secrets of the Aurora Borealis, we must delve into the science of our planet. Earth has a hidden shield, a magnetic force field that surrounds it, known as the magnetosphere. Our magnetosphere is like an invisible fortress, protecting us from the continuous onslaught of charged particles from the sun, known as the solar wind. These charged particles, composed mainly of electrons and protons, hurtle toward our planet at incredible speeds. Most of them are deflected away by the magnetosphere, preventing them from reaching the surface. However, some particles manage to breach this protective barrier, especially near the poles, where the magnetosphere's defenses are weaker. When these solar wind particles collide with the gases in Earth's upper atmosphere, magic happens. The collision excites the atoms and molecules in the atmosphere, causing them to release energy in the form of light. This is the birth of the Aurora Borealis, a mesmerizing display of natural luminescence that has captivated humanity for centuries. But there's more to this cosmic ballet than meets the eye. To truly grasp the science behind the Aurora Borealis, we must journey deeper into the heart of this celestial phenomenon. Chapter 2 – The Science Behind the Aurora To uncover the mystery, we delve into the world of science. It all begins with Earth's magnetic field and the relentless barrage of charged particles from the Sun, known as the solar wind. Earth's magnetic field is like a giant shield, extending out into space, protecting our planet from the solar wind's relentless onslaught. But even the mightiest shields have weak points, and near the Earth's poles, the magnetic defenses are not as robust. This is where the solar wind particles sneak through, penetrating the Earth's magnetosphere and racing towards the polar regions. As these charged particles descend upon the Earth, they bring with them the magic of the Aurora Borealis. When these high-energy particles slam into the gases in Earth's upper atmosphere, the stage is set for the spectacular show that follows. You see, the atoms and molecules in Earth's upper atmosphere have a unique secret, they contain energy in their atomic structure. When a solar wind particle collides with one of these atoms, it transfers its energy, causing the atom to become excited. But this excitement can't last forever. The atoms can't hold onto this newfound energy, so they release it in the form of light. And here's where the magic truly happens. The specific colors of the Aurora Borealis depend on the type of gas in the atmosphere and the altitude at which the collision occurs. 
Oxygen, for instance, produces the most common colors, green and red. Nitrogen can create purples and blues. The altitude of the aurora also plays a role. Higher altitudes typically produce reds and purples, while lower altitudes yield greens and blues. And so, as the solar wind particles dance with Earth's upper atmosphere, we witness the mesmerizing spectacle of the aurora borealis, a vivid testament to the cosmic forces at play. Chapter 3 – Aurora Myths and Legends Throughout history, the aurora borealis has not only fascinated scientists, but also stirred the human imagination. Different cultures have marveled at the northern lights, interpreting them as celestial spirits, messages from ancestors, or even omens. In the folklore of the indigenous peoples of North America, such as the Inuit, the aurora borealis held a special place. They believed these dancing lights were the spirits of their ancestors, engaging in a celestial game. The Inuit people saw the aurora borealis as a connection to the spirit world. To them, it was a sign that their ancestors were still watching over them, playing ball games with a walrus skull as the ball. This interpretation reflects the deep connection between cultures and the natural world, where the aurora borealis was not just a scientific phenomenon but a source of spiritual and cultural significance. But the Inuit were not alone in their fascination with the northern lights. Around the world, different societies develop their own myths and legends to explain these breathtaking lights in the sky. In Scandinavian folklore, the aurora borealis was often associated with the shimmering armor of the Valkyries, warrior maidens who guided the souls of fallen heroes to Valhalla. In Asia, some believed the aurora was a celestial dragon. While in ancient Greece, it was seen as the chariot of the goddess Aurora, bringing the dawn. These myths and legends remind us of the universal fascination with the aurora borealis, a phenomenon that transcends cultural boundaries and continues to inspire wonder and curiosity. Chapter 4 – Capturing the Aurora Capturing the aurora borealis is no simple task. It demands the dedication of photographers who brave frigid temperatures and endure long nights in pursuit of these elusive and magical moments. In the Arctic and Antarctic regions, where the auroras are most vivid, photographers prepare meticulously for their encounters with this natural wonder. It's all about patience and being at the right place at the right time. When it happens, it's like witnessing a piece of heaven unfold before your eyes. Armed with cameras, tripods, and a deep passion for both photography and science, these dedicated individuals work tirelessly to document the aurora borealis. Their efforts result in breathtaking images and time-lapse sequences that allow us to appreciate the aurora's dynamic and ever-changing nature. Achieving the perfect shot requires not only technical skill but also an intimate understanding of the aurora's behavior. Photographers must adapt to the whims of this celestial phenomenon, adjusting exposure times, ISO settings, and aperture values to capture its vibrant colors and intricate dance. The challenges are immense, freezing cold, remote locations, and the unpredictability of the aurora. But when you capture that one incredible shot, it makes it all worth it. These photographs not only preserve the visual beauty of the aurora borealis, but also contribute valuable data to scientific research. Collaborations between photographers and scientists are common. Photographs help scientists study the aurora's behavior and gain insights into space weather, which can have practical implications for satellite communications and power grids. Beyond traditional photography, specialized equipment and observatories are used to capture and analyze the aurora borealis, furthering our understanding of this extraordinary natural phenomenon. Chapter 5 – Auroras Beyond Earth The enchanting aurora borealis is not an exclusive spectacle of our planet. Similar phenomena occur on other celestial bodies within our vast solar system, offering a unique window into the atmospheres and magnetic fields of these distant worlds. Consider Mars, our neighboring planet. Here, the Martian aurora, although fainter than Earth's, paints the sky with its own shades of green and purple. 
The Martian aurora is a result of the interactions between solar wind particles and the thin atmosphere and feeble magnetic field of the red planet. On the colossal gas giant Jupiter, the auroras are a spectacle of grand proportions. They are not just confined to the poles but spread across vast regions of its turbulent atmosphere. Jupiter's auroras are driven by its immense magnetic field and the planet's rapid rotation, creating powerful storms of charged particles that illuminate its skies. Even some of the moons within our solar system possess their own auroras. Take Enceladus, one of Saturn's icy moons, for instance. Enceladus's auroras are born from the plumes of water vapor and icy particles erupting from its subsurface ocean, interacting with Saturn's magnetic field. On Ganymede, Jupiter's largest moon, an intricate interplay between the moon's intrinsic magnetic field and the Jovian magnetosphere creates striking auroras across its icy surface. These celestial auroras not only captivate our imagination but also serve as vital tools for planetary scientists. By studying these auroras beyond Earth, we gain insights into the complex interactions between magnetic fields, atmospheres, and solar winds on different celestial bodies. This research has broader implications, helping us understand the habitability of other worlds, the dynamics of planetary atmospheres, and the potential for life beyond our planet. Chapter 6 – The Future of Aurora Research As we conclude our journey through the mesmerizing world of the Aurora Borealis, we turn our gaze toward the future of Aurora research. New missions and cutting-edge technology are poised to unlock even deeper insights into this celestial masterpiece. At the forefront of this exploration are dedicated researchers and state-of-the-art facilities, where scientists are tirelessly working to unravel the remaining mysteries of the aurora. Understanding the aurora isn't just about comprehending this captivating natural phenomenon, it's about gaining profound insights into the Earth's interconnected systems and the cosmos beyond. One promising avenue of research lies in upcoming space missions designed specifically to study the Aurora Borealis. These missions will allow us to gather unprecedented data from space, providing a unique perspective on the Aurora's formation and behavior. Advancements in technology, such as improved satellite instruments and ground-based observatories, are enhancing our ability to monitor and understand the Aurora with incredible precision. Beyond its beauty, the Aurora Borealis plays a crucial role in space weather. By comprehending these phenomena, we can better predict and mitigate the effects of solar storms on our technological infrastructure, from satellites to power grids. Researchers worldwide are collaborating to pool their knowledge and data, forming a global network dedicated to advancing our understanding of the Aurora Borealis. The potential applications of Aurora research extend far beyond Earth, Insights gained from studying these cosmic lights may help us unlock the secrets of other worlds and their atmospheres. As we embark on this exciting journey into the future of Aurora research, we're reminded that the Aurora Borealis, with its ever-dancing lights, serves as a bridge between the mysteries of our planet and the boundless wonders of the universe. The Aurora Borealis a testament to the beauty and complexity of our universe, continues to inspire wonder and curiosity. Across the frigid polar skies, from the Arctic to the Antarctic, these dancing lights paint a celestial canvas that transcends language and borders. In shades of green, red, and purple, they capture our imagination and invite us to contemplate the grandeur of the cosmos. As we conclude our exploration of this mesmerizing phenomenon, let us remember that the magic of the Aurora Borealis is more than just a visual spectacle. It's a reminder of the intricate dance between our planet and the cosmos, a cosmic waltz where solar winds, magnetic fields, and atoms create a symphony of light. It's a reminder of the delicate balance that sustains life on Earth, where the forces of nature shape our world and connect us to the universe at large. And as we stand beneath the celestial display, gazing in awe, let us carry forward the spirit of exploration and discovery that has driven us to understand the Aurora's secrets. The Aurora Borealis, with its luminous dance across the polar skies, beckons us to continue our journey of understanding, reminding us that the universe is a tapestry of wonders, waiting to be explored. 
Thank you for joining us on this cosmic adventure through space weather news. Your support means the world to us, and we appreciate the many of you who have sent us your donations via the Super Thanks feature. If you want to further show your support and become an integral part of our journey, click on the Join button. By joining our YouTube channel, you'll have the opportunity to deepen your connection with us and help us continue delivering captivating updates and insightful analyzes about our dynamic universe. Thank you for watching.